A welcome to the online class lecture of Professor S. K. Paul, H.O.D., University Department of English, B.R.A. Bihar University, Muzaffarpur. <clears throat> Good afternoon, the students of PhD course work. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on Renaissance Humanism. Renaissance Humanism was a revival uh, in the study of classical antiquity at first in Italy and uh, uh, then spreading across uh, Western Europe uh, in the 14th, 15th and 16th centuries. <clears throat> Contemporary use of the term humanism is consistent with the historical use prominent uh, in that period, while Renaissance humanism is a retronym used to distinguish it from uh, later humanist developments. Uh, during the Renaissance period, most humanists uh, were religious, so their concern was to purify and renew Christianity and not to do away with it. Uh, their reason was to return of forms uh, uh, to the sources, uh, to the simplicity of the New Testament. <clears throat> bypassing the complexities of medieval theology. Today, by contrast, the term humanism has come to signify a worldview uh, which uh, denies the existence uh, or relevance of God or which is committed to a purely secular outlook. The Renaissance humanism was the response to what came to be depicted by later Greek historians as the narrow pedantry associated with uh, medieval uh, scholasticism, humanists uh, sought to create uh, a citizenry able to speak and write with eloquence uh, and clarity and thus capable of uh, engaging in the civic life of their communities and persuading others to virtuous and prudent actions. This was to be accomplished through the study of the studia humanities, a humanitatis, humanitatis today known as the humanities, grammar, rhetoric, history, poetry and moral philosophy. Humanism, uh, while set up by a small uh, elite uh, who had access to uh, books and education, was intended as a cultural mode to influence uh, all of society. It was a program to revive the cultural legacy, literary legacy and moral philosophy of classical antiquity. There were important centers of humanism in Florence, uh, Naples, uh, Rome, Venice, Genoa, Mantua, Ferrara, and Urbino. The Renaissance humanism also inspired in those who followed it a love of learning and a true love for books where humanists built book, uh, book collections and university libraries developed. Humanists believed that the individual encompassed body, mind and soul. <laughs> And learning was very much a part of edifying all aspects of the human. This love of and for learning would lead to a demand in the printed world, which in turn drove the invention of Gutenberg's printing press. According to one scholar of the movement, early Italian humanism, which in many respects continued uh, the grammatical and uh, rhetorical traditions of the Middle Ages, not merely provided the old trivium uh, with a new and more ambitious name, Studia Humanitatis, but also increased its actual scope, content and significance in the curriculum of the schools and universities and in its own extensive literary production. The Studia Humanitatis excluded logic, but they added to the traditional grammar and rhetoric not only history, Greek, and moral philosophy, but also made poetry once a sequel of grammar and rhetoric. 
द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट मेंबर ऑफ द होल ग्रुप सम ऑफ द फर्स्ट ह्यूमैनिस्ट वेयर ग्रेट कलेक्टर्स ऑफ एंटिक मैनस्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूडिंग पेट्रार्क जियोवेनी बुकेसियो कोलुक्सियो एंड सेल्टेटी एंड पोगियो बर्सियोलिनी Uh, of the four petrarch was dubbed the father of humanism because of his devotion or loyalty to greek and roman scrolls many vote for the catholic church and were in holy orders like petrarch while others were lawyers and chancellors of italian cities and thus had access to a book copying workshops and such as petrarch's a disciple celtetti the chancellor of florence in italy the humanist educational program won uh, won rapid acceptance and by the mid 15th century uh, many of the upper classes had received uh, humanist uh, education possibly in addition to traditional scholastic ones some of the highest officials of the catholic church were humanists uh, with uh, the resources to amass important libraries such was cardinal uh, basilios basarion a convert to the catholic church from greek orthodoxy who was considered for the papacy and was one of the most learned scholars of his time there were several 15th century and early 16th century humanists uh, humanist uh, popes uh, Uh, one of whom Ennis uh, uh, Silvius uh, uh, Piccolomini Pope Pius the <coughs> second <coughs> was a prolific author and wrote a treatise on the education of boys these subjects came to be known as the humanities and the movement which they inspired is shown as humanism the migration waves of byzantine greek scholars and emigrants in the period of following the crusader sacking of constantinople and the end of the byzantine empire in 1453 greatly assisted the revival of greek and roman literature and science via their greater familiarity with ancient languages and works they included a uh, gibistus uh, plato uh, jo- uh, george of uh, uh, trebizond uh, theodorus gaza and john uh, um, arcairo polus italian humanist italian humanism has spread northward to france germany the low countries poland lithuania hungary and england with the adoption of the large scale printing after 1500 and it becomes associated with the reformation in france preeminent humanist uh, gulimi uh, bude 1467 to 1540 applied the philosoph- philological methods of italian humanism to the study of antique coinage and to legal history composing a detailed commentary on Justinian's code good was a royal absolute absolutist absolutist and not a republican like the early italian uh, humanist who was active in civic life serving a diplomat for francois the first and helping the uh, helping to found the the colleges the Uh, lectures uh, Rex uh, later the college de France meanwhile Margherita de Navarre the sister of Francois the first was a poet novelist and religious uh, mystic who who gathered um Francois the first was a poet novelist and religious mystic who gathered around her and protected 
a circle of vernacular poets and writers, including Clement Met Marot, uh, Pierre de Ronsard, and Franco Rivella. Paganism and Christianity in the Renaissance. Many humanists uh, were churchmen, most notably uh, Pope Pius II, uh, Sixtus IV, and Leo X. Uh, and there was often patronage of humanists by senior church figures. Much humanist effort went into improving the understanding and uh, understanding and translations of biblical and early Christian texts, both before and after the Reformation, uh, which was greatly influenced by the work of non-Italian. Uh, Northern European figures such as Erasmus, Jix, uh, uh, Lefebvre, uh, uh, Lefebvre uh, D. Etaples, uh, William Grossin, and Swedish Catholic Archbishop in exile, Olaf Smetlas. The Cambridge Dictionary of Philosophy describes the rationalism of ancient writings uh, as uh, having tremendous impact on Renaissance uh, scholars. Here, uh, one failed to wait of the supernatural pressing on the human mind, demanding homage and allegiance. Humanity with all its distinct capabilities, talents, worries, problems, possibilities was the center of interest. It has been said that medieval thinkers uh, uh, philosophized on their knees, but bolstered by the new studies, they dared to stand up and to rise to full stature. In 1417, for example, Poggio Barcelloni discovered the manuscript of, uh, of Lucretius de Rerum Natura, which had been lost for centuries and which contained an explanation of Epicurean doctrine. Though at the time this was not commented on much by Renaissance scholars who, who uh, confined themselves to remarks about Lucretius's grammar and syntax. Only in 1564 did French commentator Denis Lambin, 1592-1572, announce in the preface to the work that he regarded Lucretius's Epicurean ideas as fanciful, absurd, and opposed to Christianity. Lambin's preface remained standard until the 19th century. Epicurus's unacceptable doctrine that pleasure was the highest good ensured the unpopularity of his philosophy. Lorenzo Vella, however, puts a defense of Epicureanism in the mouth of one of the, the interlocutors of one of his dialogues. Epicureanism. Charles Trinkhaus regards Vela's Epicureanism as a ploy not seriously meant by Vela, but, de but uh, designed to refute a stoi a stoicism which he regarded together with Epicureanism as equally inferior to Christianity. Vela's defense or adaptation of Epicureanism was later taken up in the Epicurean, Epicurean uh, by Erasmus uh, at the Prince of Humanists. If people who live agreeably are Epicureans, none are more truly Epicurean than the righteous and godly. And if it is names that bother us, no one better deserves the name of Epicurean than the referred founder and head of the Christian philosophy, Christ. For, for in Greek, Epicurus means helper. He alone, when the new, when the law of nature uh, 
uh, was all but blotted out by sins when the law of Moses incited to lists rather than cured them, when Satan ruled in the world unchallenged, a broad timely aid to perishing humanity, completely mistaken therefore are those who talk in their foolish fashion about Christ's having been sad and gloomy in character and calling upon us to follow a dismal mode of life. On the contrary, he alone shows the most enjoyable life of all and the one fullest of the true pleasure. The Neoplatonism, Renaissance Neoplatonists such as Marcia Leo Ficino, uh, whose translations of Plato's works into Latin were still used into the 19th century, attempted to reconcile Platonism with Christianity according to the suggestions of the early church fathers. Uh, Lecture at Antius and St. Augustine. In the spirit, uh, Pico della Mirandola attempted to, con to construct a, a syncretism uh, of religious and philosophies uh, with Christianity. But his work did not win over with the church authorities who rejected it because uh, of his views on magic. Widespread view, historian Stephen Chris expresses a widespread view derived from the 19th century Swiss historian Jacob Brucar when he writes there, the period from the 14th century to the 17th century, 17th uh, work in favor of the general emancipation of the individual, the city states of northern Italy had come into contact with the diverse customs of the East and gradually permitted expression in matters of taste and dress. The writings of Nati and particularly particularly the doctrines of Petrarch and humanists like Machiavelli emphasized the virtues of intellectual freedom and individual expression. In the essays of Montaigne, the individualistic view of life received perhaps the most persuasive and eloquent statement in the history of literature and philosophy. Two noteworthy trends in Renaissance humanism were Renaissance Neoplatonism uh, and uh, Hermeticism, uh, with uh, uh, through the works of figures like Nicholas Kills, uh, 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 Gordano Bruno, uh, Cornelius Agrippa, Cam uh, uh, Campanella, Campanella, and Pico della Mirandola, sometimes came close to consti constituting a new religion itself. Of these two, Hermeticism has had great uh, continuing influence uh, in Western thought while the former mostly dissipated as an intellectual trend uh, leading to movements in Western esori uh, esori um, esotericism such as Theosophy and New Age thinking. The Yeats thesis of Francis Yeats holds that uh, before falling out of favor, esoteric Renaissance thought introduced several concepts that were useful for the development of scientific method, though this remains a matter of controversy. 16th century and beyond. Though humanists uh, continued to use their scholarship in the service of the church into the middle of the 16th century and beyond, the sharply confrontational religious atmosphere following the Reformation resulted in the counter-information that sought to silence challenges to Catholic theology with 
with a similar efforts among the Protestant denominations. However, a number of humanists joined the Reformation movement and took over leadership functions. For example, a Philip Melanchthon, uh, Eurid uh, Aldrich Zwingli, and Martin Luther, Henry VIII, John Calvin, and William Tyndale. With the Counter-Reformation uh, initiated by the Council of Trent 1545 to 1563, positions hardened and strict Catholic orthodoxy based on scholastic philosophy was imposed. Some humanists, even moderate Catholics such as Erasmus, risked being declared heretics for their perceived criticism of the Church. In 1514, he left for Basel and worked at the University of Basel for several years. The historian of the Renaissance, Sir John Hill, cautions, cautions against too direct a linkage between Renaissance humanism and modern uses of the term humanism. Renaissance humanism must be kept free from any hint of their humanitarianism or, huma or humanism in its modern sense of rational a non-religious approach to life, the word humanism uh, will mislead if it is seen in opposition to a Christianity. Its students in the main wished to supplement, not contradict uh, through their patient excavation uh, of the sources of ancient God-inspired wisdom. Humanism, system of education, and mode of inquiry that originated in northern Italy during the 13th and 14th centuries and later spread through continental Europe and England. The term is alternatively applied to variety of Western beliefs, methods, and philosophies and that place central emphasis on the human realm, also known as Renaissance humanism. The historical program was so broadly and profoundly influential that it is one of the chief reasons why uh, the Renaissance is viewed as a distinct historical period. Indeed, though the word Renaissance is, uh, is, is of more recent coinage, the fundamental idea of that period as one of the renewal and reawakening is humanistic in origin. But humanism sought its own philosophical basis in their early times and moreover continued to exert some of its power long after the end of the Renaissance. Origin and meaning of the term humanism, the ideal of humanitas, the history of the uh, term humanism is complex but enlightening. It was first employed as a, a humanismus by 19th century German scholars to designate the Renaissance emphasis on classical studies in education. These studies were pursued and endorsed by educators known as early as in as early as the late 15th century as uh, humanity, that is, professors or students of classical literature. The word uh, humanity derives from the studia uh, humanitatis, a course of classical studies that in the early 15th consisted of grammar, poetry, rhetoric, uh, history, and moral philosophy. The study of humanities uh, were held to be the equivalent of the Greek pedia. Their name was itself based on, uh, on the Roman uh, statesman Marcus uh, Tullius Cicero's concept of, uh, of, human, of humanitas. 
and uh, and uh, humanitarian and educational and political ideal that was the intellectual basis of the entire movement renaissance humanism in all its forms uh, defined itself in its uh, striving toward the this ideal no discussion of humanism therefore can have validity without an understanding of humani humanitas humanitas meant the development of human virtue in all its forms to its fullest extent the term thus implied not only such qualities as are associated with the modern and humanity understanding benevolence uh, compassion uh, mercy but also such more assertive characteristics uh, as uh, fortitude judgment prudence eloquence and even love of honor consequently consequently the the possessor of humanitas could not be uh, merely a, a sedentary and isolated philosopher or man of letters but was of necessity a participant in active life just as action without insight was held to be aimless and barbaric insight without action was rejected as barren and perfect Uh, humanitas called for the fine balance of action and contemplation a balance born not of compromise but of complementarity the goal of such fulfilled and balanced virtue was political in the broadest sense of the word the purview of renaissance humanism included not only the education of the young but also the guidance of elders including rulers via philosophical poetry and uh, strategic rhetoric it included not only realistic social criticism but also utopian hypothesis not uh, only painstaking reassessments of history <coughs> but also uh, also uh, oh, bold uh, reshapings of the future in short humanism called for the comprehensive reform of culture the transfiguration of white uh, of what humanists uh, termed a uh, term a uh, term the passive and ignorant society of the dark ages into a new order that would reflect and encourage the the grandest human uh, potentialities humanism had an in evangelical dimension it sought to protest a uh, uh, humanitas uh, from the individual into the state uh, a state at large the well spring of humanitas was classical literature greek and roman thought available in a flood of rediscovered or newly translated manuscripts provided humanism with much of its basic structure and method for renaissance humanists there was nothing dated or outward about the writings of aristotle cicero or livy compared with the typical productions of medieval christianity these pagan works had a fresh <clears throat> radical almost avant garde a tonality indeed recovering the classics was to humanism a tantamount to recovering reality classical philosophy rhetoric and history were seen as models of proper method efforts to come to terms systematically and without pre uh, preconceptions of any kind with perceived uh, with perceived experience more classical thought considered ethics uh, uh, ethics uh, qua ethics politics qua politics uh, it lacked the inhabiting dualism occasioned in medieval thought by the often conflicting demands of secularism and christian spirituality classical virtue in examples of which the literature uh, abounded was not an abstract uh, essence uh, but a quality that could be tested in the forum uh, or on the battlefield 
Uh, finally, classical literature was rich in eloquence. In particular, uh, humanists uh, considered Cicero to be the pattern of refined and copious uh, discourse as well as the model of eloquence combined with the wise statesmanship. In eloquence, humanists uh, found uh, far more than an exclusively aesthetic quality as an effective means of moving readers or fellow citizens uh, toward one a political course or another, eloquence was akin to pure power. Humanists uh, cultivated rhetoric, uh, consequently as the medium through which all other virtues could be, uh, communi uh, could be communicated and fulfilled. Detail of a Roman copy, 2nd century BCE, of a Greek al uh, alabaster portrait bust of Aristotle, uh, 325 BC, in the collection of the Roman National Museum. Humanism then may be accurately defined as the Renaissance movement that had uh, as its uh, central focus the ideal of uh, humanitas, the narrower definition of the, of the Italian term uh, humanisti, notwithstanding all the Renaissance writers uh, who uh, cultivated humanitas and all their direct uh, descendants uh, may be correctly termed huma humanists, others, other uses. It is a small wonder that a term as broadly elusive as humanism should be should, should be subject to a wide variety of uh, applications. Of these, excepting the historical movement uh, described above, there are three basic types, humanism as classicism, humanism as referring to the modern concept of the humanity, uh, humanities, and humanism as human-centeredness. Accepting the notion that Renaissance humanism was simply a return to the classics, some historians and philologists have reasoned that classical revivals occurring anywhere in the history should be called humanistic. St. Augustine, Alcuin, Alcuin, and the scholars of the 20th century charter, uh, charters have thus been referred to as humanists. In this sense, the term can also be used self-consciously as in the new humanism movement in literary criticism led by Irving Babbitt and Paul Elmer Moore in the early 20th century. The word humanities, which like the word uh, humanisti, derived, uh, derived, from, uh, derived from the Latin studia uh, humanitatis, is often used to designate the non-scientific scholarly disciplines, language, literature, rhetoric, philosophy, art, history, and so forth. Thus, it is customary to refer to scholars in these fields uh, humanists and to their activities as humanistic. Humanism uh, and re related terms are frequently applied to modern doctrines and techniques that are based on the centrality of human experience. In the 20th century, the pragmatic humanism of, of Ferdinand uh, C. S. Schiller, the Christian humanism of the Jacques uh, Maritain, and the movement known as a scholar humanism, uh, uh, though uh, differing from each other significantly in content, all showed uh, this uh, uh, anthropocentric emphasis. Not only is such a large assortment of uh, definitions confusing, but the definitions themselves are often uh, redundant or impertinent. There is no reason to call all classical uh, revivals humanistic when the word classical suffices. To say that uh, professors in the many disciplines known as the as the humanities are humanists uh, are humanists 
is to compound vagueness with vagueness. For these disciplines have long since uh, since ceased to have or even aspire to a common rational. The definition of humanism as uh, anthropocentricity or, or human centeredness has a farmer has a firmer claim to correct it, to uh, correctness for obvious reasons however it is confusing to apply this word to classical literature Early humanists returned to the classics uh, less with nostalgia or awe uh, than with a sense of deep familiarity, an impression of having been brought newly into contact with expressions of an intrinsic and permanent human reality. The Italian scholar and poet Petrarch, uh, Francesco Petrarca, dramatized his feeling of intimacy with the classics uh, by writing letters to Cicero and Livy. <coughs> and Livy. <coughs> Coluxio uh, Salutati remarked uh, with pleasure that possession of a copy of Cicero's letters would make it possible for him to talk with Cicero. Uh, Niccolo Machiavelli would later immortalize the, this experience in a letter that described his own reading habits in ritualistic terms. So, so uh, 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 yeah. Evenings I return home and enter my study, and at uh, and at its entrance, I take off my everyday clothes, full of mud and dust, and don royal and courtly garments, uh, decorously reattired. I enter into the ancient sessions of ancient men received amicably by them, I partake of such food as is mine only, and for which I was born. There, without shame, I speak with them and ask them about the reason, uh, about the reason for their actions, and, and they, in their humanity, respond to me. Machiavelli's term, humanita, humanity, means more, uh, more than kindness. It is a direct translation of the Latin uh, humanitas. Machiavelli implies that he shared with ancients a sovereign wisdom of human affairs. He also describes that theory of uh, reading as an active, as an active uh, and even aggressive pursuit that was common among humanists. Uh, possessing a text and understanding its words were not enough. Analytic ability and questioning attitudes were necessary before a reader could only uh, truly enter the councils of the great. Uh, these councils, moreover, were not merely serious and, um, uh, and, um, uh, and ennobling. They held secrets available only to the astute uh, secrets, the knowledge of which, which could transform life from a chaotic uh, miscellany into a crucially heroic experience. Classical thought offered insight into the heart of things. In addition, the classics suggested methods by which once a known a human reality could be transformed from an accident of history into an, uh, uh, into an artifact of will. Antiquity was rich in examples, actual or poetic, of epic action, victorious eloquence, and applied understanding carefully studied and well employed. Classical rhetoric could uh, implement enlightened policy while classical poetics could carry enlightenment into the very souls of men in a, in a manner that uh, might uh, seem paradoxical uh, to more modern humanists associated classicism, classicism uh, with the future. Realism 
Early humanists shared in large part a realism that rejected traditional assumptions and aimed instead at the objective analysis of perceived experience. To humanism is owed the rise of modern social science, which emerged not as an academic discipline but rather as a practical instrument of social self-inquiry. Humanists avidly read history, taught it to their young, and perhaps most important, wrote it themselves. They were confident that a proper historical method by extending across time their grasp of human reality would enhance their active role in the present for Machiavelli who avowed to treat of men as they were and not as they ought to be. History would become the basis of a new political science. Similarly, direct experience took precedence over traditional wisdom. The dictum of Leon uh, uh, Battista Al uh, Alberti that uh, an essential form of wisdom could be found only at the public marketplace, in the theater and in people's homes, uh, would be echoed by Francesco uh, Guicciardini. I, for my part, know. Uh, I, I, for my part, know. No greater uh, pleasure than listening uh, to an old man of uh, uncommon prudence uh, speaking, uh, speaking of public and political matters that he has not learned from books of uh, philosophers but from experience and action. For, for the latter are the only genuine methods of learning anything. Renaissance realism also involved uh, the unblinking examination of human uncertainty, uh, folly, and, uh, Im and immortality. immorality. Petrarch's honest investigation of his own doubts and mixed motives is born of the same impulse that led uh, Giovanni uh, Boccaccio uh, to conduct in the Decameron published in 1353, an encyclopedic survey of human vices and disorders, similarly critical treatments of society from a humanistic perspective would be produced later by Desiderius, Desiderius Erasmus, Sir Thomas More, uh, Baldessere and Castiglione, Franquois Ribelia, and Michael D. Montaigne. But it was typical of humanism uh, that this moral criticism did not uh, uh, conversely postulate an ideal of uh, absolute purity. Humanists uh, asserted the dignity of normal earthly activities and even endorsed the pursuit of fame and acquisition of wealth. The emphasis on a nature and healthy balance between mind and body, uh, first implicit in Book SEO, is evident in the work of uh, uh, Gionoso uh, Manetti, uh, Francesco Philel, uh, Philelfo, and, uh, uh, and Parcellus. It is embodied eloquently in Montaigne's uh, final essay of experience, humanistic tradition rather than revolutionary inspiration, would lead Francis Bacon to assert in the early, uh, early 17th century that, that the passions should become objects of systematic investigation. The realism of the humanists was finally uh, brought to bear on the Roman Catholic Church, which they called into question, not as a theological structure, but as a political institution. Here as elsewhere, however, the intention was neither radical uh, nor uh, destructive. Humanism did not aim to, uh, to remake humanity, but rather aimed to reform a social order uh, through an understanding of what was basically and inalienably human.
humanistic realism we spoke and humanistic uh, uh, realism we spoke uh, a comprehensively critical attitude indeed the productions of early humanism uh, constituted a manifesto of independence at least in the secular world from all preconceptions and all uh, and all inherited programs the same critical self reliance shown by salutati in in his textual um, um, emendations and boccaccio in in his uh, interpretations of myth was evident in almost the whole range of humanistic endeavor it was cognate uh, with a new specificity a profound concern with the precise details of perceived phenomena that took hold across uh, across the arts and the literary and historical disciplines and would have profound effects on the rise of uh, uh, modern science uh, the increasing prominence of mathematics as an artistic principle and academic discipline was a testament to this development these attitudes took shape in in uh, in concurred with uh, with a sense of personal autonomy that first was evident in petrarch and later came to characterize humanism as a whole an intelligence capable of critical uh, scrutiny and self inquiry was definition of free intelligence the intellectual virtue that could analyze experience was an integral part of that more extensive virtue that could according to many humanists uh, go far in conquering uh, in conquering fortune the emergence of renaissance individualism was not without its uh, darker aspects petrarch and alberti were alert to the sense of estrangement that accompanies intellectual and moral autonomy while machiavelli would depict uh, in the prince published in 1513 a grim world in which the individual must exploit the weakness weakness of the crowd or fall victim to its indignities but happy or sad the experience of the individual had taken on a heroic tone parallel uh, with individualism arose as a favorite humanistic theme the idea of human dignity backed by medieval sources but more sweeping and insistent in their approach a spokesman such as petrarch marnetti lorenzo lorenzo vela and marcillo uh, ficino asserted humanity's earthly uh, earthly preeminence and unique potentialities in his noted de hominis uh, dignitate odesio uh, oration on the dignity of man uh, giovanni pico della mirandola conveyed uh, this notion with uh, unprecedented vigor humanity uh, pico asserted had been uh, assigned to assigned no fixed character or limit by god but uh, but instead was free to seek its own level and create its own future no dignity not even dignity itself was forbidden to human aspiration because radical affirmation of human capacity shows the influence of fisilo's contemporary translations of the hermetic writings uh, the uh, purported works of the egyptian and hubs uh, uh, tris magistos together with the even bolder 16th century formulations of this position by uh, parcelas uh, and uh, and Gio, uh, and giordano bruno the oratio betrays a rejection of the early humanists uh, emphasis on balance uh, and moderation it rather suggests the straining the straining toward absolutes that would characterize major elements of later humanism 
Renaissance humanism began in the 13th century, as I've just told you, uh, when Europeans' hunger for studying classical texts coincided with uh, a desire to imitate those authors in a style. They weren't to be uh, direct copies, but uh, but uh, uh, to an old model, speaking of vocabulary, styles, intentions, and form. Each half needed the other. You had to understand the texts to take part in the fashions and doing so drew you back to these and Rome. But uh, what developed was it, uh, a set of, uh, of second generation mimics. Renaissance humanism began to use knowledge, love and maybe even obsession with the past to change how, how, uh, how, mm, how they and others saw and thought about their own era. It was not uh, a pastiche, but a new consciousness, including a new historical perspective, giving a historically based alternative to medieval uh, ways of thinking. Humanism began to affect culture and society and powered in large part uh, what we now call the Renaissance. Humanists operating before Petrarch called proto-humanists were mainly in Italy. They included Lovedo di Loveti, 1240-1309, and a Paduan judge who may have been the first to mix reading Latin poetry uh, with writing modern classical poetry to major effect. Others tried, but Lovedo achieved far more recovering among other things Seneca's tragedies. A hunger for bringing old texts back to the world was characteristic of humanities. This searching was vital because much of the material was scattered and forgotten, but Lovato had limits and his prose style stayed medieval. His pupil, Mosato, connected his studies of the past to contemporary issues and wrote in, in the classical style to comment on politics. He was the first to deliberately write ancient prose in centuries and was attacked for uh, liking pagans. Petrarch Francesco Petrarch, Petrarch 1304 to 1374 has been called the father of Italian humanism and while modern historiography modern historiography plays down the role of individuals his contribution was large he firmly believed that classical writings were not just relevant uh, to his own age but saw in them moral guidance that could reform humanity a key principle of uh, renaissance humanism Eloquence, which moved the soul, was the equal of the cold logic. Humanism should be a doctor uh, to human morals. Petrarch didn't apply uh, much of uh, this thinking to the government, but worked uh, at bringing together the classics and the Christians. The pro-humanists had been largely, largely secular. Petrarch uh, bought religion in arguing that history can have a positive effect on a Christian soul. He has been said to have created the humanist program and he argued that each person should study uh, the ancients and create their own style. Had Petrarch not lived, humanism would have been uh, seen as a threatening Christianity. His actions allowed humanism to spread more effectively in the late 14th century carriers needing skills of reading and writing were soon dominated by humanists in the 15th century in italy humanism uh, humanism uh, uh, in italy humanism once more became secular and the courts of Germany, France, and elsewhere turned away until a later movement brought it back to life between 1375 and 1406. Uh, Colosio uh, Salutati was.
chancellor in Florence and he made the city of capital of Renaissance humanism's development. By the 1500s, humanism was the dominant form of education, so widespread that it was dividing into a range of sub-developments as perfected texts passed to, uh, to other specialists uh, such as uh, mathematicians and scientists. The recipients uh, also became humanist uh, thinkers as these fields uh, developed. They split and the overall humanist program of uh, reformed fragmented the ideas ceased to be the uh, preserve of the rich as printing had brought cheap written materials to a to a wider market and now a mass audience was adopting often unconsciously humanist so dear students here i uh, i have finished my lecture here i make here I concluded. Thank you. Thank you all of you.